The DevExpress Splash Screen Manager makes adding splash screens to your WinForms applications seamless and easy. With just a couple of simple steps, you can display a splash screen when your app starts without writing any code. While splash screens are mainly designed to be displayed on application startup, the Splash Screen Manager component also enables you to display wait forms, animated progress windows for time-consuming and resource-intensive operations during runtime. In this video, we'll take a look at how to add and display animated splash screens and wait forms. So let's get started. Let's begin by creating a new WinForms application. I'll use the WinForms Extra Project Wizard to do this. Using this wizard, I create an extra form containing bars and a grid control. A navigation bar is not required for this application, so I select None for the Navigation Area option. After the project is generated, I set the form's start position to center screen. Now let's drop the Splash Screen Manager component onto the form. Click the Add Splash Screen link to generate a new splash screen. The created splash screen is now the active splash form. This splash screen will be automatically invoked on the application startup. For demonstration purposes, I'll manually add a short delay on the form's load by calling the thread.sleep method. The delay will last for 4 seconds and emulate a resource-intensive operation such as loading a large amount of data. Let's run the application to see this in action. You can see that the splash screen will be automatically invoked and will remain on screen for 4 seconds until the main form is completely initialized. I close the application and return to Visual Studio. We'll now take a look at using the Splash Screen Manager to display wait forms. A wait form is a small form that enables you to show a progress of lengthy operations. I click on the Splash Screen Manager component in the tray and select Add Wait Form. This generates a new wait form. The form as well as the generated splash screen can be accessed and further customized through the Solution Explorer pane. Unlike splash screens, however, wait forms need to be manually invoked and closed. To demonstrate this, let's add two buttons to show and close our wait form. I'll double click the first button to generate an event handler and call the splash screen manager dot show form static method passing the type of our wait form as a parameter. I'll take the same steps to add an event handler for the close wait form button as well. To close a wait form, the splash screen manager dot close form static method is called. And now, let's run the application one more time to see these in action. You can see that once again, the splash screen is displayed for 4 seconds on the form load. Clicking the Show Wait Form button displays our wait form. And I'll close it using the second button we created earlier. Thanks for watching. Let's see what develops.